Hey guys, we just wanted to tell you about our new merch. What? We have new merch? Are you serious? Yeah, and it's so cuddly and adorable. Oh. Wait a minute. Do we have unicorns? <laughs> Daisy, of course we don't have unicorns. But we do have snugglers. What? They're adorable. Snugglers are your adorable, squeezy, cuddly friend. I want them, Molly. They're so cute. We also have backpacks and t-shirts. You guys can check it out by going to starsquad.shop. Now it's time to get to the video. Daisy, what are you doing? I'm taking this horse to school. What, wh why are you taking a horse to school? Because, Molly, it's crazy outfit day and the horse is a part of my accessories. Daisy, you cannot take a horse to school. The teacher's going to give you detention. Wait, what? She will? Yeah, of course she will. <laughs> what are you going to do? Put the horse at a desk and make it do your homework? That's not a bad idea, Molly. Daisy, lose the horse! Okay, fine, Grumpy. Well, maybe I'm a little grumpy because it's still dark outside and you woke me up for school. Seriously, the bus doesn't come this early. Well, um, I just want you to get out of bed on time because you've been late for so many times that you're literally going to have detention for the rest of your life, Molly. Do you want that? Uh, well, uh... Molly! No, I don't want detention for the rest of my life. Hey, Daisy, what do you think of my crazy outfit? Well, it's certainly crazy. What do you think of my cowgirl outfit? I think I look crazy and cute. Yeah, you always seem to be fashionable, even when it's crazy outfit day. Finally, the sun's coming up. Yeah, well, I may have gotten us out of bed just a little bit early today. You think? Oh, look who these losers are. We're not losers, Sarah. Why are you always saying we're losers? Look at how you're dressed. You have to be losers. Uh, newsflash. Today is crazy outfit day at school, so maybe you're the loser because you're not wearing a crazy outfit. Whatever. Look, I do that baby stuff anyway. Like, I don't dress up, like, for all that nonsense. It's not nonsense. The whole school does it for Spirit Week. And Molly and I just happen to be in the spirit. What are you, like some sort of like cowgirl or something? Where's your horse even? I was going to bring a horse, but Molly said... Look, I don't even care what you have to say. Ugh, this is boring. W Daisy, wait! What, Molly? What is it? You forgot to look both ways. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. It was so dangerous. What are you talking about? Looking both ways? What are you, babies? Uh, no, we're safe. S Sarah, you have to look both ways before you cross a row. Oh, she'll never learn. You're telling me, Daisy. You're telling me. Wow, this test is really hard. Molly, remember, there's no talking and no cheating during the test. You don't want detention, do you? No, I wasn't cheating. I was just saying, this test is so hard, Mrs. Smith. Well, it does challenge you, I agree. I think it's pretty easy. Of course you do, Daisy. Of course you do. Whatever. This test is so hard. Where's my notes? <gasps> you can't use a note, Sarah. That's called cheating. Whatever. It's not really cheating if I took the notes. Actually, yes, it is. Daisy, is there a problem? Please stop talking or you're going to fail your test. <gasps> oh, sorry, Mrs. Smith. can't believe she's cheating. That's so wrong. No, it's not. You're just such a baby. My sister's not a baby! Molly, no talking. Sorry, it's just Sarah! Molly, no talking. Okay, fine. Ooh, time for lunch, my favorite. Hey, Brookie, what's up? Oh, hey, Molly. I'm just so excited because today I got Doritos in my lunch. Wow, your mom's super cool. Uh, my mom always, mom always packs me just an apple or whatever. Well, sit down, Molly. You could share some of my Doritos if you want. Oh, wow. Really? That's super nice of you. Yeah, why don't you share with me, as in give me the entire bag? What? Uh, no, sorry, Sarah. I, I didn't say I would share with you. I only have enough to share with Molly today. Maybe tomorrow. I don't want you to share. I want you to give me the entire bag of Doritos. She doesn't want to, Sarah. <gasps> Sarah, you took her Doritos! Sarah, give those back. You want them after I've chewed on them? Ew, you're gross. Why 
are you so mean to me, Sierra? You're always bullying me. Brookie! Brookie, wait! It'll be Brookie, come back! Oh my gosh. Oh, Sarah is so rude. Alright, I gotta go do some damage control. Brookie, are you okay? No! I wanted those Doritos. They were mine, and I'm really hungry. Well, I'll share my apple with you. You could have half of it. Thanks, Molly. It's really nice of you. But she's always bullying me, and I don't know what to do about it. We could tell the teacher. That's probably the best thing to do. Yeah, but it doesn't get my Doritos back. You know, Sarah just doesn't play by the rules. <sighs> she's so rude. But one day, it's going to catch up with her, Brookie. I hope so, Molly. I really hope so. Whoa, Brookie, you had a growth spurt. No wonder you're so hungry. I know, right? I can't get enough food lately. You're probably going to be like seven foot tall. You could be a basketball player. I love sports. That would be amazing. Come on, let's go eat my apple. Okay, Molly. Hey, where you guys been? Lunch is almost over. Well, it's a long story. Here you go, Brookie. Here's half. Thanks, Molly. But let's just say the story starts and ends with Sarah. Oh, no. What did she do now? Walk out in front of traffic, cheat on her test? No! She bullied Brookie and took her Doritos. Then Brookie cried in the bathroom. I had to give her a pep talk. And now I'm sharing my apple with her. Thank goodness I have friends like you guys. Or else I'd be hungry. Yeah, Sarah's just a bully. Someday she's going to learn her lesson. I agree, Molly. Someday she definitely will. Hey, guys, I have a great idea. What is it, Molly? While we're waiting for the school bus, why don't we play on the playground for a while? Ooh, I love that idea. Maybe they'll turn your frown upside down. It definitely did, Molly. You guys are my best friends. And we're your best friends, Brookie. Now we just have to wait for the school day to be over. Boring! Molly, maybe if you paid attention once in a while, you'd actually like the subject. Uh, probably not. <laughs> Wee! This is so much fun! I'm so glad we decided to come to the playground after school. Me too, Molly. This is so cool. Yeah, I love swinging on the swings. I haven't done this since, like, kindergarten. I know what you mean. Whoa! 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 I'm going super fast. Whoa! Molly, be careful. You're going to fall off of there. I'm going to jump. Whoa! <laughs> I actually jumped backwards. Did you guys see that? Yeah, that was insane, Molly. Maybe we should go down the slide next and go into the pool. Ow, you ran into me, Brookie. Stop running into me. Stop running into me. Um, Molly, you're standing in front of the swing. Maybe you shouldn't do that if you don't want someone to, um, like, run into you. Ah, uh, yeah, that, that's a good point. Okay, who's going down the slide first? You are, Molly, since it was your idea. No one's going down the slide because I own it. I'm going to put my name on it, like, right now. What? You don't own the playground slide, Sarah. Yeah, I do. No one's allowed to come up here. I'm coming up there. Get out of here, seriously. Sarah, get out of the way. I want to go down the slide. No, no. And let me think about it for just a second. No. Seriously, you made me wait all that time just to say no? Let me think about it again. No. Whatever, Sarah. You're so rude. Ugh, she drives me insane. I know, tell me about it. Oh man, I forgot my backpack at school. I'll be right back. Hurry up, you're going to miss the bus. Whoa, here comes the bus. Come on, we don't want to miss it. Sarah, what are you doing? You have to look both ways. Whatever, I don't look both ways. Sarah? Sarah? Oh my God, somebody call 911. Sarah got hit by the school bus. Sarah? Are you okay? Say something. It definitely hit her head. Oh my gosh, we need an ambulance. We need an ambulance. Oh my god, this isn't good. I called 911. The ambulance is on the way. Sarah, just hold on. Hold on. Well, Sarah, it looks like you have a concussion. And also, your leg looks sprained. You're very lucky. I mean, having a school bus hit you, it, it could have killed you. Whatever. When can I get out of here? Uh, you definitely have to stay for the next two days for observation. We want to make sure that the concussion clears up before we send you on home. Oh, this is so annoying. 
Just try to relax, Sarah. I'll have the cafeteria bring you in some dinner. Sarah! Sarah, are you okay? Who wants to know? It's me, Molly. Don't you recognize me? Yeah, I just didn't want to be bothered to look at you. Oh, I'm so annoyed right now. I'm in the hospital. Sarah! Oh my gosh! I, I, I thought maybe the bus had killed you! Well, obviously not. I'm still here talking. Yeah. So, so what did the doctor say? She said I have a concussion and I have a sprained leg, so I have to stay here for two days. Whoa! Sarah, you got lucky! You know when I said you should look both ways, and you said you don't follow the rules, and that's for babies? Yeah, I remember. Well, uh, I think you should start following the rules. What? Why? Because a school bus hit you! That's why! Why else? Ugh, I'm so irritated right now that I can't go and do what I want. Um, you would be able to do what you want if you would follow the rules. Yeah, I mean, I guess I should have looked both ways, because it did really hurt when that school bus hit me. Yeah, not to mention you scared the school bus driver half to death. She thought you were a raccoon. What? I don't even look like a raccoon. Why would you say that? Um, maybe you had some bags under your eyes or something. I do not look like a trash panda. Take that back right now. Sorry, Sarah, I can't. And you can't get out of the bed, so see you later. Molly, you come back here right now. I can't believe you called me a raccoon. Get back here. <laughs> Sarah finally learned her lesson. You should play by the rules. Especially look both ways, because, like, you know, a school bus might hit you or something. This has been a crazy day. I can't believe it. Today's the day. Karen, Karen, wake up. Karen. <coughs> Ugh. Why did you wake me up so early? Oh, I'm all like congested. I think I caught a cold or something. Yeah, I think you might have given it to me actually too, but that's okay because I'm fine. And um, yeah, uh, today's a big day, so we need to get out of bed. I don't get out of bed before 8 a.m. That's just ridiculous, Tim. You know this. You've been married to me for like 10 years. Well, Karen, but but today's the day. Today's the day we decided to, to go adopt. Oh, yeah that did you change your mind no i still want a baby i'm just i'm super tired <coughs> um karen maybe you should see a doctor your cough doesn't sound so good i will be fine i hate doctors they're so annoying they always want to like listen to my lungs take an x-ray what are they even thinking i think they're thinking they want to make you better karen I don't care about them, okay? I only care about me. Okay, I'm getting up because it's too annoying to listen to you talk all morning about how I should go to the doctor. <coughs> it's only a cough. Okay, Karen, no problem. I'm gonna go down and make breakfast, okay? What? Wait a minute, you didn't say I look beautiful this morning. I, where did you go? Okay, there you are. I'm waiting. Uh, Karen, you look, um, ravishing this morning. <laughs> That's not beautiful. Try again, Tim. Okay, uh, you look... <sighs> what? Did you just sigh at me? No, uh, you look beautiful, Karen. Totally. Okay, I'm gonna go make breakfast. That's what I thought. I knew I looked beautiful. Ow, I ran into the wall. Oh, I'm not even awake yet. Maybe you can wake me up when I'm, when I'm gonna eat my breakfast. Until then, I'm gonna go back to sleep. <sighs> Karen, what are you doing back in bed? <laughs> oh my god! Does Karen sleep with her eyes open? Oh, that's so creepy! Huh? What? Who's Tim, why are you waking me up again? I'm tired! Karen, smell this coffee. Doesn't it smell delicious? Come on, it'll wake you up and we can go adopt our baby! Fine. Alright, I'm up. Ugh. Husbands can be so annoying when you're trying to sleep. We're here! We're here! This is gonna be so amazing! Ugh, I can't believe how tall she is. Why can't I be tall? It's not fair! Karen, you're an adult. Um, you've been an adult for like 15 years, uh, and you're still not tall, so I don't think you're gonna ever be tall. I think you might need to just come to terms with this. I don't want to come to terms with this. Why are you tall and I'm short? I've been taking that that vitamins forever now. The one that said it'll make me tall? 
Yeah, the one I had to get a second job to actually pay for, Karen, because it costs us $500 a month and you're still not tall? I think you need to get over being tall. Whatever. It's gonna make me tall! It's gonna make me tall! Um, hi, what can I do for you today? Oh, I see you caught the flu that's been going around too. Yeah, <laughs> everybody in Brookhaven caught it. Tell me about it. It's so annoying, right? I can barely talk. Yeah, it is pretty annoying. Well, enough about the flu. <laughs> We're here to adopt. Oh, perfect. Only problem is, is pretty much all the children have been adopted. What? But we want a child. Give us one right now. Um, well, I do have one toddler left. Um, she's not a baby, but uh, she does need a good home. What? I want to adopt a baby. Karen, listen. Maybe this little girl is perfect for us. I mean, it seems kind of like fate. Whatever. Tim, you just want to, like, pretend this is all perfect. I don't think it's perfect. I don't think it's perfect at all. Karen, let's just give her a chance, okay? Fine. Where's this baby that you're... I mean, toddler that you're talking about? Ugh, they don't even have any babies. She's right back there. You could go say hi to her if you want. Come on. <coughs> I don't like this toy. <coughs> Oh, she cries a lot. Yeah, Karen, reminds me of someone else I know. Who's that, Tim? Uh, nobody you know. <laughs> oh, well, what do you guys think? You want to spend some time with her? Well, if she's the only little brat you have available, I guess. Um, we don't use those words here, okay, Karen? Let's just try to be kind. Yeah, Karen, can we try to be kind? Like, for once in your life. Whatever, Tim. I'm trying my best here, okay? I can't make life perfect for everyone around me. I just point out when it's not, okay? Okay, Karen. Why don't you take just a deep breath? Hi, little girl. I'm Tim. I need a mommy. Aw. She's kind of cute, actually. She reminds me a lot of you, Karen. What? I don't cry all the time. Uh, not all the time, Karen, but uh, occasionally. <laughs> she even kind of looks like you. <laughs> you have the same frown on your face. I want mommy right now! Well, she does seem kind of perfect for our family. Okay, I'll go tell her we're adopting her. Hello, super tall, annoying person. We're going to adopt that toddler back there. Okay, well, let me just do the required paperwork, background check, and a bunch of other things. What? We just want to take her home. Why do we got to do all this work? Um, because it's the rules and the law. Ugh, whatever. Hurry up. I'll just sit over here until you're done. Ugh, this is taking forever. This is taking forever! Whee! This isn't fun at all. <laughs> Well, <laughs> it does appear that you guys are perfect for Sarah. <laughs> um, so pretty much everything makes her miserable, but I'm hoping it's just a phase and she'll grow out of it. Just sign here on the dotted line. Give me the paper there, tall person. Uh, could you call me a uh, perhaps not tall person? You could call me miss or lady or um, you could call me my, by, by my name, Brittany. I prefer tall person. Good morning, class. Today is your first day of kindergarten. I'm so excited for you guys. I'm excited too. Really, Molly? You think you're going to like school? I really hope so. Huh. I, I think I will. I think I'm going to love school. I think someday I'm going to be a rocket scientist. Wow, those are very big goals, Molly and Daisy. Uh, what about you in the back? What's, what's your name? Ugh, don't even talk to me right now. I don't even want to be here. Um, okay. Let's try being polite with our responses. What is your name? Sarah, if you must know. Whoa, she's grumpy. <laughs> must be she's not potty trained and she needs a diaper change. Molly! <laughs> yeah, she totally does. Okay, guys. Okay, let's be nice. Um, Sarah, would you like to answer the first question of the day? Not really. Okay, well, let's see if you can. Today, we're learning about the letter A. I would like you to name one word that starts with the letter A, please. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Duh, Molly Cheapus. Everybody knows that when you come to school, you have to raise your hand. It's okay, girls, it's okay. We're still learning here, but I would like Sarah to answer. I'm not gonna answer, this is lame. Ugh. Can I go to the bathroom? Okay, Sarah, okay, well, 
Uh, Daisy, would you like to tell me? Uh, A is for apple. Very good. Ooh, Doritos, Coke, bananas, pizza. I can see I'm going to love school already. What are you doing here, loser? Um, it's time for lunch. So I guess we're the first two in the lunchroom. I'm number three. Ooh, pizza, that smells delicious. Uh, even though I have a cold, I still sort of can taste it. You guys are so lame. I'm, I'm just sad I'm even in the same class with you. Whoa, my mom told me to look out for people that are bullies. Seems like you're kind of a bully. Yeah, Sarah, seems like you're kind of a bully. Whatever. I don't need to even sit by you guys, but this is my seat, so you need to move. Um, okay. I'll move to a different table. That's good, because you smell. No, she doesn't. She took a bath last night. She smells like, ew, a loser, and so don't you. Wow, you're really rude. I wonder why she's such a bully. Who knows, Molly, who knows? But let's just sit over here. Ooh, pizza day, my favorite. Oh, look who it is. Oh, what a loser. What's your name again? Sarah, we've been going to school together for like 10 years. What do you mean, what's my name? Oh, uh, what? I can't hear you. I'm on the phone. Whatever. Ugh. She's such a bully. She's been a bully since elementary school. Hmm. Hope this pizza doesn't get stuck in my braces. Wow, Molly, double duty. Braces and glasses. I think you look beautiful, though. Aw, thanks, Daisy. I think you look beautiful, too. Even though you had to pick the same glasses as me. Well, I really do love Harry Potter. Me, too. Now that I'm off that important call, I can address how loserly you both look. Loserly? Is that even a word? It is because I made it up. I even put it in the dictionary. That's how important I am. Listen, Karen. Karen? My name's not Karen. Karen's my mother. Oh, everything's starting to add up to me now. Look, I know you don't like me and whatever, but can you just leave me alone? Uh, you're hard to ignore with braces and glasses. <laughs> just when I thought you couldn't be a bigger loser. Whatever. You're so mean. <laughs> mommy, mommy, can I go down the slide? Of course you can, Caitlin. Come on. It's going to be so much fun at the park today. And then can I go on the swings too? Of course. Oh, look who it is. <laughs> it's, it's, what's your name again? Seriously, Sarah, I went to school with you. From kindergarten all the way through college. And you don't know my name. Ugh, was it Polly? No, that's my evil twin. My name is Molly. Can you get it right ever? Oh, look, someone to play with. Think again, little brat. You're not playing with my son. Hey, don't call my daughter a brat. She's not a brat. What? Sorry, can't hear you. Important phone call. Ugh, don't pay any attention to her. She had a Karen for a mom. She was a bully her entire life. And now she's going to turn her kids into bully brats too. Come on, Caitlin. Let's just go to a different park. Okay, Mommy. Don't get stressed. It's okay. Aw, you're such a good kid. Ah, time to log in and see what the test results are. Oh, no. My patient, Sarah. This is horrible news. How am I going to tell her this? I feel so horrible about this. Well, it's a, a doctor's job. Good morning, Sarah. How are you feeling today? What do you think I feel like? Look at me! I look like a crib caper! Oh, I really need a, a beauty treatment. Stat! Um, Sarah, I'm sorry to tell you this, but... There's a little bit more to worry about than your ugly face. Are you calling me ugly? Oh, sorry. I'm a new doctor, and, and I'm very nervous to tell you what I have to tell you. Just come out with it already. Ugh, do I have all day? Look at me. I look like I'm dying. That's just it, Sarah. <sighs> you are dying. Wait, what? Yeah, you're very old, as it turns out. And, well, when you get very old, you kind of just, well, look like that. I don't want to look like this. I want to be beautiful. Um, I don't think that's going to matter. Because either, um, 
You're going to die, or you're going to turn into a zombie. And with that face, I'm not quite sure which one. Whatever. I'll look beautiful forever. I'll live forever! <laughs> Sarah, are you okay? Do you need a breathing treatment? <laughs> Absolutely! Why do you think I'm breathing like this? Duh! Sorry, okay. I'll definitely give you a breathing treatment. Where's my son? I need to see my son! Um, I tried calling him earlier, but he said he was too busy. He's in L.A. shooting a new film. But I'm dying. Doesn't he want to be here? Um, well, Sarah, um, I'm not really sure. O-M-G. Everyone has abandoned me! Well, I haven't abandoned you. Get away from me. I don't even like you. You're such a loser, doctor. Okay, now I'm also abandoning you. What? Get back here! I'm gonna get your breathing treatments, Karen. I mean, Sarah. And I'll be right back. Okay, Sarah. Oops, I didn't mean to step on your bed. Oopsie. Whatever. Worst doctor in the world. Oh, gee, Sarah. Maybe you could try just being a little nicer, and then your son and everyone might come visit you. Whatever. How about you don't give advice that I don't need? Now, where's this breathing treatment? And where's my beauty cream? Okay, here's Shh. your... Oh, wait. That's, that's definitely not your breathing treatment. Oopsie. Ugh, can I get a doctor who knows what's going on and has a clue? Like, seriously, what are you trying to roast marshmallows on me? Um, no, sorry. Here you go. That is not a breathing treatment. That's a taser. No, it only looks like a taser, but it's it's definitely going to help, okay? Just just hold still, and I'm going to help with the breathing treatment. I don't want one. Uh, uh. Sarah? 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 Oh, no. She, she, she died being a bully. Well, at least she's consistent. I better go call the funeral home. Dearly beloved, we're gathered here. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. That's, that's weddings. I'm at a funeral. Yes, that's right. Oh, and it's starting to rain. Oh, the drama of it all. Okay, everyone. We've gathered here to say goodbye to Sarah. Wait a minute. Where, where is everybody? N nobody's gathering to say goodbye to Sarah? Wow. She must have been a real bully or something. Nobody even wants to say goodbye to her. Well, Sarah, I didn't know you, and, and I know nothing about you, really, but I was just hired to do this eulogy for you. So I just want to say, um, better luck next time? Huh? I don't know. Well, at least I have some flowers I can leave for you. <sighs> well, I, I, I don't know what to say, except for my stomach's really hungry and I gotta get a pizza. Bye! Ah, what a long day at work. Good thing I decided to come to the beach afterwards. I really need the relaxation. Hello? What was that? It was just probably my imagination. Ah, look, there's even a fire going at the lake. This looks like the perfect place to relax and chill out. Hello? Nope, definitely wasn't imagining it. It's a coyote. Or maybe it's a, a bear. Hello? OMG! It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a a wolf? Oh my gosh. It looks like a baby wolf. Where's its mom or dad? And is it going to try to eat me? That's a better question. Okay, I, I don't see its mom or dad anywhere. Do you think that it's an orphan? Oh, that's so sad. Maybe it'll let me get closer. It's okay, little wolf. I'm not gonna hurt ya. I'm just taking little tiny steps. Hello! Okay, backing up, backing up. Okay, wait, I think it, it's saying that I can get closer. Hello? Oh my god, are you gonna bite me? Don't bite me, okay? I'm friendly, I'm not gonna hurt you. Oh, wow, she she sat down. It's a little baby girl wolf. Oh my gosh, she's adorable. Hi, my name is Molly. I mean, I don't know if that means much to you because you probably don't speak human, but I'm very friendly. What happened to your mom and dad? Ooh. Oh my gosh. I think what the baby wolf is trying to say is they're dead. Oh my gosh, baby wolf. You can come live with me, okay? I'll adopt you. I wonder if it'll let me carry it. Oh my gosh, it did. Okay, come on. We can go back to my house. Everything's going to be okay, baby wolf. Everything's going to be okay. Well... Here's my house. 
It's pretty nice because I have a very good job. I went to college and, you know, got a degree, got a good job and stuff. So, yeah, it's a pretty nice house. Come on in, baby wolf. Make yourself at home. Oh, except for that. Don't jump on my couches. Baby wolf. Oh, your feet are all muddy. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Did I make a mistake by bringing this baby wolf into my house? I mean, it is a wild animal. Well, all I can say is that she really needed a home. Okay, well, I'm going to go get changed. So, um, you stay here and behave, baby wolf. Behave. How are you? What's going on out there, baby wolf? I hear you howling. What are you getting into? Mm. Mm. Baby wolf! Are you eating all the waffles? No, 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 no. Baby wolves aren't supposed to eat waffles. I could make you some chicken or um, I could get you some dog food. Ah, blah, 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 blah. Oh, 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 oh. What do you mean, uh-uh? You're not supposed to eat all my eggos. Come back here with that. Hey, come here, come here, come here. Get down from there right now, baby wolf. Seriously? You went in the washing machine? Well, I guess that's one way to give her a bath. Baby wolf? Oh my gosh. What is she doing? I should probably give baby wolf a name. How about Daisy? Daisy! Hey! Why are you going in the bathroom? Hmm. Maybe this baby wolf isn't as wild as I thought. Maybe she's potty trained. Ew! What are you doing? Drinking out of the toilet? Oh my gosh! Ew! Get out of there, baby wolf! Get out of there! Okay, that's it. Out you go. Outside the house right now, baby wolf. Come on. Come on. I'm. Don't worry. You don't have to cry. I'm not kicking you out. I just wanted you to, to come out here because we're going to start our training. If you're going to live in with the humans, you have to start acting a little bit more, well, behaved and civilized. Come on. The first thing I want you to do, you're very good at. Run! Come on! As fast as you can, baby wolf! I'm beating you! <laughs> okay, now. Now, what you're gonna do is run in circles around me. No, that's not what I wanted you to do! What I want you to do is stay while I run. Okay? That's your first command. Here we go! Stay! Oh, I hope she stayed. I really hope so. And she didn't. I can see this training's gonna take a long time. Okay, baby wolf, come. Come. Okay, well, at least you know come. So, that means you come to where I am. Now, when I run, you're going to stay. Stay, Daisy Wolf, stay. Okay, this training is going terribly. It's gonna take a long time to train this baby wolf. I can tell already. Hey, Daisy Wolf, look, our favorite show is on, Brook High. Come on in. Oh, 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 oh. Daisy Wolf? What? Maybe she has to go outside. Daisy Wolf, what's wrong? Oh, 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 oh. You, you want to go out there? But why? You want to live out there? Oh, no. I knew this day would come. But I'm not ready. I'm not ready to release you out into the wild. Please, Daisy Wolf, give us another year or five or ten. Ow, 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 ow. Ow. I know I have to let you go. But I'm just not ready. I'm not ready to let you go, Baby Wolf. <laughs> ow, 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 ow. I know I'll always, I'll always, I'll always have our memories, but I'm just not ready. But I know I need to do this. Come on, baby wolf. You're not such a baby anymore. <laughs> I'm gonna miss you so much, baby wolf. I'm gonna miss you so much. Okay, go ahead, Daisy Wolf. You're free. You're free. There she goes. There she goes. Running off into the sunset. Oh, she stopped to say goodbye. Goodbye! <laughs> I can still see her. She's not gone out of my life yet. She's not gone yet. Bye, Daisy Wolf. Goodbye. 
I'm gonna miss my Daisy Wolf so much. <sighs> Even if she did drink out of the toilet. I can't believe today is my 30th birthday. Where is the time gone? I'm all dressed up and ready to go out to the club with my friends. I think I look adorable. But I can't help thinking about where Daisy Wolf is. It's been 10 years since I've seen her. 10 long years. I hope she's okay. I really, really do. Oh my gosh. These hips don't work like they used to. My 60th birthday is today. And, well, I've got nowhere to go. Everyone else is retired in Florida and I stayed in Brookhaven. Hoping that I'd see my beautiful Daisy Wolf just one more time. I couldn't leave Brookhaven without seeing her. I've looked and looked for her, but I've never been able to find her. I don't have many years left. I guess I'll just celebrate my birthday alone with a scoop of ice cream. And dream of the memories I had with Daisy Wolf. Where have the years gone? It seems like just yesterday I was 20, and I was spending all of my best years with Daisy Wolf. Now I'm so old, I don't think I have very many years left. Oh, good thing I put in this elevator. My legs definitely wouldn't go up these stairs anymore. I never did leave Brookhaven. I was too worried that I would never see my Daisy Wolf again. Oh, I, I think I only have a few minutes left of my life. Oh, I'm so tired. I'm just going to get into bed and sleep and dream about my wonderful Daisy Wolf. Yep, I'm definitely going to die. Look at my face. I look terrifying. I think I might have already died. Just kidding. <laughs> I only look like a zombie, but I'm not one. Oh, my dying wish is to see Daisy Wolf. Oh, Daisy Wolf, where are you? Ow! Daisy Wolf? Is that you or am I imagining it? Ow, 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 ow! Daisy Wolf, it is you. You have made this old lady so happy. Ow! You're gonna sit by me? Oh, that's so nice of you, Daisy Wolf. I'm gonna die. Oh, 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 oh. But I'm so glad that I got to spend my last and best moments of my life with you. Ow! 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 Ah! Uh, uh, uh.